So we just have one minute and I just want to ask you one final question. And the final question is, everything you're saying sounds great. So what happened in the last 30 years with your patients? In other words, did everyone live to 110 or do people with whole food plant-based diets that are SOA, you know, no salt, no oil, no sugar, do they still get cancer and Alzheimer's and heart disease? Do they just get it less? Do they not get it? Like what is, you know, the theories make sense, but what actually happened to the people that you've been following closely? Do you every so often get a call from someone that says, so-and-so did exactly what you said and they died? Or are you saying like, what, a, what is the actual result from following what you're saying compared to the general public as best as possible? Because I know it's hard to know that, you know, to keep perfect track. I, I, my conclusions I'm coming to so far is that how long you live is largely determined by genetics and luck, but how well you live in the time you're alive is largely determined by your diet and lifestyle choices. People that make good diet and lifestyle changes have a much higher percentage chance of living until they reach their genetic potential and go to sleep one night and don't wake up. They have good lives and good deaths. They don't have the tendency towards long-term debility that you see so common in patients that live more conventionally. So I think it's going to turn out to be how well they live and that they maintain good cognitive and physical function until close to the end of their existence, rather than spending years or decades debilitated. That's going to be the big gain from uh, uh, adopting healthy diet and lifestyle habits. Thank you. Uh, my patients, all my patients are only in their 110, so I can't tell you what's going to happen to them <laughs> as they uh, as they progress, but I'm, I'm following them along. Uh, but you, you bring up a, uh, an important point that this is such an important question. The only way it's going to really be do, uh, answered is by identifying a pool of people who've been raised as vegans since birth, they brought up as vegans, and lived on a uh, plant-based diet all their lives and see what happens to them that would give you a, a far better picture than someone who eating the standard diet until he's 55 has his angina and then switched to a vegan diet. He's, he's already uh, uh, has altered his physiology. And it's hard to, uh, hard to say what's, uh, uh, what his ultimate fate will be. But at any time you adopt a plant-based diet, it's going to help the body. It's going to uh, uh, motivate healing forces to kick in. And whatever conditions you got, it's going to be better. You may have already compromised your ultimate lifespan, but as Dr. Goldhammer says, there ought to be less sickness, less morbidity and disability along the way when you when you till you you reach your final day. Um, there's no evidence I know of that going back to the standard American diet does anything good for your health. Uh, and, lo and lots of uh, studies showing that a plant-based diet uh, optimizes one's health. And for that reason, I think. Um, uh, the case is already uh, closed. Uh, that, uh, I, I think the points have already been made. And people, uh, we like to kid ourselves as homo sapiens, and we like to cheat on ourselves and think that nobody's looking, but your body's never not looking. And uh, and, uh, and the truth of a plant-based diet comes out in, you know, as individuals. So eat plants and get on with it. I don't have a t-shirt made with uh, Eat plants, get on with it, enjoy your life. Thank you. And I would uh, just add uh, from my own experience that that um, you know the, the I guess the health that people enjoy is directly proportional to the changes they make <laughs> and how much they stick to those changes. And and Alan um, was just telling us about some of the work he's doing, seeing people who have stuck to the changes that he's taught and, and how beautifully they do. And to me, that's the most exciting news I've heard in a long time. But it, it, I do, I have many, um, many clients that I've worked with that have maintained extraordinary health for years and others that fall back to old habits. And our goal is really to figure out how we can motivate people to stick to these. And my own thinking is that, you know, people care more about belonging to their tribe than they do about surviving almost on their own. So, you know, they wanna belong. And so we have to do everything we can to make this more mainstream, to help people feel like they belong, to give them, to provide delicious, nutritious food, to make it easier for them to stick to this kind of diet long-term. Okay, 
in five seconds, just tell everyone how to stay in touch with you and follow up with you. Brenda, first you. Uh, Brenda Davis at telus.net is, is my email and uh, anybody's welcome to email me. Okay, and you can go on our website, click on Brenda Davis and that'll take you to her website and her books. BrendaDavisRD.com. RD.com. Dr. Campbell, how can we stay in touch with you? Yeah, nutritionstudies.org. That's the program we've had, nonprofit, now with Cornell. Uh, and it's been really done quite well over the years, and that's the best way to get a hold of me. Nutritionstudies.org. Thank you. Dr. Clapper? Uh, if you want nutrition information and uh, things in general to keep yourself healthy, go to drclapper.com. It's all spelled out, D-O-C-T-O-R-K-L-A-P-E-R.com. Uh, but if you want to uh, help us reach more medical students with the plant-based message and you want to help me uh, uh, change the course of American medicine, uh, help us through our nonprofit, Moving Medicine Forward. And that website is movingmedforward.com. So we can uh, sure you your support, but you're going to get good things at both websites. Dr. Goldhammer? TrueNorthHealth.com. So I want to let you know, I really appreciate it. It's really an honor to be able to um, have all of you. I respect you all. And so I, I'm the one who's got the microphone, but I am channeling what millions of people want to say, and they really want to say thank you. They really do appreciate it. Um, we are really have challenges in this world. We are really getting misinformation from mainstream papers. A lot of people are trying to make money on us and are not honest. So to find smart, honest people that are on our side, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Can we unmute everyone? Unmute yes. everyone. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.